little bit nervous about posing topless. I've never worked with such a short time frame. I'm having to adapt my style a bit. Not many people have seen my back in real life. It's quite exposing. OK, so you ready to see it? I was diagnosed with scoliosis at age nine. My spine completely deteriorated. And ballet was like the one thing I wanted to do in my life. It was when my dance teachers found out that I had scoliosis. I went from being top in the class to bottom. And I just wanted to dance like everyone else and I physically couldn't. Oh, have a lovely time. I'll see you later. I'll you have a nice you. time here. See you later. I'm a bit nervous on how someone would interpret my story and how they would paint my back and how they see it. I'm passionate about what I do. It's telling each individual's journey and story. It's more than just a picture on a canvas. It is a lot of pressure because I want to do her proud, whether I can represent her honestly and whether she can look at the piece and feel like, yeah, that's me. I never used to talk about my back when I was at my lowest points. I hated it. I'm a little bit nervous about posing topless, but I want to share my story and raise more awareness on scoliosis. Okay, so I'm just going to get you to stand just here for me. And then when you're ready, if you just take off your gown for me. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to move your hair. Is that okay? Maybe that might be quite nice so we can see some of the neck. You've got a lovely, elegant... Yeah, that's quite nice. I love that you've got hearts as earrings. <laughs> Ella, do you mind me asking about your condition? So I was first diagnosed with scoliosis at age nine, which is curvature of the spine. At that time, ballet was literally my life. All I'd watch in my free time was just ballet videos. I found out because I came home from ballet one evening and I couldn't like touch my toes anymore. I had a 40 degree curve in my spine already with a twist, which is classed as severe. And I remember like turning to my mum and being like, oh, bang goes my career in dance. Has there been like, particularly tough times for you over the years because of everything you've gone through? The curve in my spine got a lot worse um, because I was growing, going through puberty and everyone in my class was getting ready to audition for like really big London schools. And I remember my teacher turning around to me and going, there's no point. They're gonna take one of, look at your back and just say no. I couldn't be a normal preteen young child. Um, I felt like an old lady at the age of 12. So I had spinal fusion surgery. Um, it is a life-changing surgery. Post-surgery was when I started struggling with uh, body image, body dysmorphia and anxiety. I just, I felt like I was in someone else's body and it didn't belong to me. And I just became very shy, withdrawn. I didn't feel good enough um, and I became mute. That must have been really confusing for you because you're feeling a certain way when the doctors and everyone's expecting you to be happy. It must have been really yeah, difficult. Like At what point did things change for you? Did things turn around? I think one of the best things I've ever done for myself is finally listen to my body. So I'm currently at an acting school and I love it. 
and I have a teacher that has similar issues to me. So she can do like movements and shapes other people can't do, um, which is kind of similar to me. That kind of gave me a bit of hope that, oh, I can pursue this after loads of years of just not thinking I could do it. Kind of like rekindled the old fire in me and the determination. Just because I'm not at a professional level, doing it professionally doesn't take away me being a dancer. You've been fantastic. Um, <laughs> unapologetically honest and yeah, I couldn't have asked for any more. Um, I'm gonna continue tonight. Okay. And can't wait for you to see it tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Ella's body is beautiful to me. I wanted to make sure that I made that scar of hers and her back a real focal point. There's something called kintsugi, which is the Japanese art of precious scars. If a bowl or something breaks, rather than get rid of it, they will repair that using gold. So along the scar, I've decided to thread by hand some gold wire to kind of really emphasise the fact that this is something that makes her more beautiful. Sitting for Andrea was a really cool experience because I've never done it before. Um, at times it was a bit, I was a bit nervous because it required opening up on sensitive issues. I have no idea what the painting is going to look like. I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I do feel like there's still a lot left to do. But we'll see how things go. I was a little bit nervous when I woke up because it's like another day, um, but it's more like excitement and um, yeah, I just can't wait to see the picture. Oh my god, I'm a bit like shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so like excited. I'm like. nervous as well. Okay, so you ready to see it? Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh, I feel like I'm going to cry. Like, that's like, <laughs> it's just beautiful. And I don't know if you have a closer look. Um, so I threaded along the scar with gold wire. Like, I don't even like recognize that it's me. Like, it's just amazing. And it's just lovely for like someone to find that beauty within a deformity and like make it a centerpiece and really like bring it to life and celebrate it. This is like one of the nicest things that like, anyone's ever done for me. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And you've done it while you're like pregnant and like <laughs> it's just it's beautiful. Been a pleasure. Thank, you. Oh, thank you. So much I love it. <laughs> this experience overall was amazing. Um, I found it really good just to be vulnerable and to let someone else in. It's just really made me appreciate who I am. There's nothing wrong with being different. If we were all the same, then the world would be really bland.